Welcome to this tutorial we are going to be doing on the skeletal structures of our foot. With the foot we will see that a lot of the naming is similar to our hand, reflecting the similarities between these two. Uh, starting with our directional terminology here like always so we know exactly what we are looking at. We have a superior view, so looking from above. A medial view, so closer to the midline of our body with the big toe on the inside and a lateral view, so from the outer side of our body and our little toe on the edge. The first thing we are going to do here is the same thing we do with our hand, which is split it into three separate segments. So we have the segment that consists of our phalanges, the segment which consists of our metatarsals, tarsals as opposed to carpals in the hand, and our tarsal bones. So starting with our phalanges, let's have a look at what we've got on our foot. Now the phalanges being our toes, we're going to divide that into three different segments just like we did with our fingers. We have a proximal that I've highlighted in purple here. We also have an intermediate which I'll just highlight in green as well. So we've got a proximal phalange, intermediate phalange, and if we have a look here, we don't have an intermediate phalange on our big toe. Exactly the same as on our hand. We didn't have an intermediate phalange on our thumb. The last segment we will have is our distal phalanges, which I've highlighted in red here. So we've got the distal segment on all of our toes. And if we have a look on the lateral and medial views as well, we can just see that I've highlighted that again. We have our proximal in the purple, our intermediate in the green, and our distal in the red. Proximal closest to attachment point, intermediate in between those two, and distal furthest away from the attachment point. The attachment point being the second segment of our foot here, called our metatarsals. If we remember in our hand we have our metacarpals, in our foot they are the metatarsals. I've just highlighted them in yellow here and our metatarsals have no individual names, the same as uh, what we see on our hand, but they are numbered, also like our hand. So numbering from our big toe just like we numbered from our thumb on the hand, we're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we uh, put it on the medial as well, we'll see 1, 2, and 3. And on the lateral, we'll see all of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our metatarsals are numbered, and they're going to articulate with our phalanges and with our tarsal bones. So that leaves us with our third and last segment that we divide the foot into, which is those tarsal bones. Now, as opposed to the carpals, we only have seven tarsal bones. In our hand, we have eight carpals. In our foot, we have seven tarsals. And we'll have a look at them now. So the first one is going to be our cuneiform bones. Our cuneiform, just to make naming easier, we divide it into three segments. The medial cuneiform, which I'm just outlining here. So we see our medial cuneiform on the medial side. We'll also see it from our superior view here. And we're not going to see that one on the lateral side. We'll have our intermediate cuneiform next. Once again, I'll just outline it for you. So our intermediate here on the superior, intermediate here on the medial view. We can see that as the highest point and intermediate on the lateral side. So it's the highest point on that lateral side as well. Our last cuneiform being our lateral cuneiform, which I've just highlighted on the superior and on the lateral and we won't see that one from our medial view because it's uh, below the intermediate. Our next tarsal bone 
is the cuboid. You can see the cuboid, a large tarsal bone from the lateral and from our superior. Once again, we won't see it on the medial. Next, we have our navicular. The navicular is a bone that's kind of in between everything else. We can see it here on the medial. We can also see it on the superior and we'll also see it on the lateral. So it kind of separates all the other tarsals from each other. Our next two are quite big. The first being our talus. The talus is on the top, which we see here from the medial view. The talus is going to articulate with the uh, bones of our leg, of our lower leg. We see it on the lateral here. And I'll talk about those articulation points in a moment. And last point here, we see it from the superior. Uh, our last tarsal bone is going to be the calcineus. The calcineus, as we can see on the drawings, is by far the largest of our tarsals and is going to have a lot of attachment points. So I've outlined it on the medial and our lateral surfaces here now, and just on our superior as well. And this bone is going to have a few unique features, just like with our talus. The first of which being the calcineal tuberosity. Now the calcineal tuberosity is the area we commonly refer to as our heel. I usually remember that by saying calcineal heel. And we can see it here on the lateral. It's the whole section that's behind our talus bone. So we can see it here from the superior. It's this segment that is posterior to our talus. And it's going to be a point where we insert uh, quite a few of the tendons from the muscles of our leg. So it's a tendon attachment point. The second main feature of our calcineus that we're going to need to uh, familiarize ourselves with is the sustentaculum talli. The sustentaculum talli being this segment here on the medial surface of our calcineus. And it's just a, a prominence that's going to be a, a ligament and tendon attachment point. And it's also going to be a point where the uh, talus can articulate with that calcineus bone so that you're going to have an increased range of motion in your ankle. And the last structures we're going to look at in this video here are the facets for our malleolus. So they're points on our talus, malleolus being um, part of the tibia and fibula. So we have the lateral here and we'll have the medial on the other side. So our medial is going to interact with our tibia, lateral is going to interact with our fibula. And the last structure on top of our talus is something called the trochlea of the talus. The trochlea of the talus once again is going to be an articulation point for the bones of the lower half of your leg, so the tibia and the fibula. So we've just got that here and highlighting that in the blue. And that is all of the features of the skeleton of our foot that we need to know and remember to prepare ourselves for uh, the later musculoskeletal videos when we'll need to know all of the names of the ligaments and the muscles that attach to these bones. Once again, I hope this video has made things a little bit clearer for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.